All right, Jim, we have time for one or two more questions. This one was sent in the corny drive through at gmail.com from Tom in Charlotte, North Carolina. Jim wanted to get your take on NXT removing women's from the NXT women's title. PC culture for me has destroyed much of what made professional wrestling entertaining in the past is the removal of gender. I I can't speak. It's the removal of gender identification. The ultimate demise of wrestling. Well, wait a minute. Well, what are they calling it? They're just calling it now the NXT women's, uh, excuse me, not calling it women's, the NXT world title. So both the men and women's well, division, what? they're calling them both the world title without any uh, actual notation of what the gender of the competitors in that division are. Well, that's fucking stupid. I agree. Well, then, because if the NXT champion, then you'd have two NXT champions. Right, and, 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 yeah, I, I, fucking hell. I don't, I have no explanation for that. It's fucking stupid. Sounded me. Do you, if, if there would be like, okay, if, if, if the, if the WWE women's champion shows up on the Today Show, but she's advertised as the WWE champion, does that mean people think, oh, that girl just beat John Cena or whoever the fucking champion is these days, since nobody really knows? Um, just the fact that they have a WWE champion and a universal champion, all these other champions to begin with. <sighs> that, no, that's stupid. It's just confusing. Apparently this all started from something Becky Lynch said. Uh, I'm going to try to get you the exact quote here so I can tell you what she said. Becky Lynch was recently on WWE backstage and talked about dropping the term women from the professional wrestling conversation. I found an article here that talks a little bit about it. It says during WWE's backstage show, Becky was asked her thoughts regarding CM Punk's statement that the women's division is the best thing going in the WWE. She responded by suggesting that the company should remove the word women in order to not differentiate between matches and segments that only feature male or female superstars. What the fuck? After that point, apparently a memo went out that NXT will no longer be using the term women. And then Becky issued a statement after the fact. My comment about removing the word women from the conversation wasn't about renaming a division. It was about beginning to rethink it. I wasn't advocating for any changes in title names or anything else. Like I'd have the power but simply an equal volume of opportunities that are based on skill and not gender. The term women can limit openings because phrases like, quote, there's already a women's match on the show is still in wrestling's historical DNA. Yes, yes it is. We're all and just... And more people should be repeating it lately or we wouldn't have to watch some of these fucking all, all elite wrestling women's matches. We're all just superstars who want our shots and places on the shows if we earn and deserve them. I'd simply love us to get a place where there's three women's matches on pay-per-view or ten or none if it so happens we're not serving the audience. So there's a little bit of context to... NXT removing the word women from it's the- just all fucking silly. Here's the goddamn thing, whether anybody wants to admit it or not, until the fucking WNBA outdraws the NBA or the lingerie football league is playing the Super Bowl. Men's wrestling is the goddamn meat of the matter. That's the fucking product, and it's going to be. And the WWE especially has a great variety of wonderful female athletes and women wrestlers, and they have had great matches. But if you goddamn think that fucking there should be, uh, once again, as I've said before, the same amount of fucking, and even she didn't say that, the same amount of matches of women's matches as men's on a card just because you're fucking nuts. And yes, some women's matches, and we've seen a few here uh, recently, like the fucking main event at WrestleMania, what, two years ago or whatever, some women's matches are going to draw money, but women's wrestling should never, is never going to be equal to men's because that's the main fucking attraction. The main attraction is the guys beating the piss out of each other. And I'm sorry. And then, you, and then you make women's wrestling an attraction when you don't overdo it, but when you're just putting them on the card to, because there needs to be more girl matches, fuck. Jesus Christ, that's where we get that goddamn Priscilla Kelly and whoever the fuck it was the other day. It couldn't Rick lock Baker. up. Well, there you go. And that was on national TV for way too long. 
You didn't even really talk about that promo she did with Shivani afterwards. Yes, I did. Remember, I said, I said it was like a fucking wrestling school promo, and they had to cut it off in the middle. Oh, that's right. They either, did. they either didn't tell her what to say, or she forgot what to say, and she didn't know how to be a heel. Who the fuck was in charge of that thing? I said a lot about it, but it just... This whole equality thing, it's it, because people are fucking mad because when you think of fucking wrestling, when you think of boxing, when you think of mixed martial arts, you think of guys beating the piss out of each other. And the fact that some girls do beat the piss out of each other at a high level means that they can draw on the card. But this fucking equal number, equality, et cetera, the women's, women's title just on the surface of it, regardless of who holds it, is never going to be as important as the men's, et cetera. Yeah, and, get back, and get back with me when the when the WNBA and lingerie football league prophecies come true. And the WWE has a lot of high quality female wrestlers, and and, and it, almost nobody else does. Well, that's what I was going to say. You can't tell me that AEW wouldn't be better without their women's division. You oh, good can't. God! Of if, if that's just it's a bunch of I guess I know that you know the young girls want to you know heroes that they can want to be like and grow up and i can etc and i know that some of the guys in the audience that's what they would when, when sinclair was first buying ring of honor and the merchandise weasel was telling me what dvds sold apparently the shimmer dvds sold with the ring of honor audience better than the ring of honor dvds did because it was a bunch of fucking guys that didn't get laid very often calling for dvds of women wrestling and, and and he would say, does it have so-and-so on it this month, you know, on the phone? Anyway, uh, I understand why some of those guys want to see this, but high-level women's wrestling is good. And I'm, I'm all in favor of the Charlottes and the Becky Lynches and the Ronda Rouseys and the Rhea Ripleys and all the other people we put over and the Tessa Blanchards. And there should be one or two of those matches on a big pay-per-view or one match on a fucking TV show with people who really know what they're fucking doing that don't expose the business by working like a fucking girl, which a lot of girls do, especially on the indies. But more than that, we're getting away from the goddamn meat of the matter, so to speak. And by the way, if you want a women's division, I wouldn't let Kenny Omega book it. I wouldn't have <laughs> Randy Rhodes having any creative contributions the guy out there you you mentioned shimmer dave prazak has been the guy scouting women wrestlers booking them using them he probably knows that scene better than anyone why doesn't that guy get a job with wwe or aew running their women's division that's what i'd like to know he's overqualified overqualified that's